He's immersed himself in the role of a quadriplegic man in my left foot. A ruthless oil baron in There Will Be Blood. And America's greatest president in Lincoln. Now, it's Daniel Day-Lewis, as you've never seen him before, playing the role of chair in The Chair. In the most committed performance put to screen since the last time Daniel Day-Lewis was in a movie, the world's greatest living actor has truly outdone himself. Spending over three months locked inside a room, isolated from any contact with the outside world whatsoever, Mr. Day-Lewis has transformed himself into a chair in every sense of the word. By refusing food and drink, Erasing the part of the brain that signals bodily functions, cutting off all ties with loved ones, refusing to pay taxes, and even missing the birth of his own child, Mr. Day-Lewis has once again proven himself a true giant of the screen. Though he faces crippling debt and a dissolution of a 16-year marriage, the ends certainly justify the means. And in their first on-screen pairing, Mr. Clint Eastwood joins Day-Lewis in a poignant coming-of-age story that defies the cinematic medium. What is this? It's your new chair, Dad. I don't like it. I'm indifferent to change because the plot calls me to be. It's most likely the problem my character will have to overcome by the film's resolution. But Dad, your indifference has caused a strained relationship between us. Mm. I don't love you and never will. Perhaps you can find someone else you can remedy your misdeeds through and become a father figure. Ugh. Listen, Chair. I worked in a furniture city for 20 years. I used to stack chunks of wood like you 20 miles high in the back of the shop. I don't like you. Except I probably will by the end of the movie because the script wants me to. beginning to reconsider my opinion of you, Chair, for you are not the person who I thought you were. You know, I was only indifferent to chairs because... Because I saw my best friend get crushed under a pile of after, after he miscounted the way a shelf could hold. But damn it, now my world has changed. <laughs> <laughs> and featuring the musical stylings of Mr. Eastwood himself. Chair, you're the finest chair I've ever had. Chair, I want you to come take a ride with me in my grass. You are the best friend chair that I've ever had. And Randy Newman. Daniel Day Lewis is the chair. He got really enjoyed this role. They wanted me to sing this song, but I was too lazy to watch the movie flow. Christy Lemire of the Associated Press writes, Wait, why does Clint Eastwood have black curly hair and eyebrows? 10 out of 10! Roger Ebert of the Chicago Sun-Times writes, It's literally Daniel Day-Lewis as a chair for three hours. The first hour and 45 minutes is just a close-up of the chair. Four stars. Peter Travers of Rolling Stone writes, At one point, during a scene where he shouts death threats at the chair, Clint looked at the screen and mouthed Obama, and then continued to hold eye contact with the camera for a full two minutes before casually returning to the scene. A plus! Rex Reed of the New York Observer writes, Clint Eastwood is old. Let's laugh at him because he's old. Also, he has a slight pot belly. It's just 
<laughs> so let's laugh at him because he's possibly on the verge of obesity. Ha 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 Five stars! Don't miss this cinematic masterpiece. This chair is much too large. This chair is much too small. But this chair! Get off my chair. Coming soon to a theater near you. Let's do it. Let's do it. Go ahead.